Hey there, aviation enthusiasts. Get ready to embark on a thrilling adventure through the fascinating world of autogyros. In this captivating YouTube video, we'll take you on a photographic journey back in time to the golden era of early plane helicopter hybrids, from 1925 to 1940. But first, let's dive into the story behind the autogyro. It all started with a Spanish engineer and aeronautical pioneer named Juan de la Sierva. He developed the original autogyro, a revolutionary aircraft that achieved self-stabilization through a four-bladed horizontal screw turned by wind in the sky. These incredible machines were also known as gyrocopters and gyroplanes. The autogyro was a groundbreaking invention that solved a critical problem in aviation history. Sierva was driven by the desire to design an aircraft that wouldn't crash from engine stalling, a challenge he faced after the failure of his previous projects. In 1919, one of his aircraft, a large three-engine bomber, crashed during its initial flight due to engine stalling. Despite this setback, Sierva remained determined to create a safe means of air travel. Between 1920 and 1923, he tirelessly worked on developing autorotation in a series of models, including the C.1, C.2, and C.3. It was his fourth model that finally conquered the air and laid the foundation for all future rotary wing aircraft. His designs were later licensed to companies in the UK, the US, and beyond. In the later years, the autogyro saw stunning advancements in America thanks to Harold F. Pitcairn, a licensee of Sierva's inventions. Pitcairn purchased the U.S. rights to Sierva's patents in 1929 and established the Pitcairn Sierva Autogyro Company. This marked a significant milestone in the autogyro's journey, as it opened doors for its widespread manufacture in the United States. Autogyros proved their worth in various applications, including rooftop-to-rooftop -rooftop urban mail delivery and even military use during World War II. However, their popularity declined in the late 1930s with the rise of helicopters. While autogyros offered control and stability, helicopters surpassed them by being able to take off, land, and hover with precision. Yet, one of the factors that hindered the acceptance of autogyros was purely psychological. Despite helicopters not achieving success until 1935, they had been in development for as long as airplanes. The general public was familiar with helicopters and understood the concept of a powered rotor. Autogyros, on the other hand, had an unpowered rotor that spun due to aerodynamic forces. This lack of understanding and trust prevented them from gaining widespread popularity, despite actually being safer than helicopters or airplanes. As helicopters gained success and received military grants for further research, the autogyro was gradually abandoned. Only a few concepts and attempts at civil designs were made, and autogyros survived mainly as home-built aircraft, particularly in the ultralight category. Throughout this captivating video, we'll showcase stunning photographs of autogyros in action. From the iconic image of an autogyro taking off in front of the United States Capitol in 1936 to Amelia Earhart setting a women's autogyro altitude record of 18,415 feet in April 1931, these visuals will transport you back in time to witness the remarkable achievements of these unique aircraft. So, buckle up and get ready to be amazed by the incredible autogyro. Join us on this thrilling journey through history and discover the captivating story of early plane helicopter hybrids. Don't miss out on this extraordinary adventure.